I'm pushing forward. And here we go. So today we are doing, um, it's every day is going to be kind of a this and that with a little bit of a focus. Um, so let's start uh, with warming up our arms. Get my necklace off. Nice big arm circles all the way up and around. And let's go the other way. Lots of snow here today. And let's do the other arm. Um, Jerry and Matt, they headed off to Toronto this morning. All the way up and around. All right, and then shoulders nice and relaxed in their in their sockets and your body being pulled up to the sky, reaching for those opposite walls. And let's come across one. Nice big deep breath in. Two. Three. And let's do the other side. One. Two. I just see Dory. She's sitting there on the couch. She's just peeking up over top of the top. I do worry. Awesome. All right. And shoulder rolls all the way up to your ears and back and around and forwards. And reaching nice and high up to the sky. Take a couple steps, reach right, reach left, reach right, and then sway it side to side. And then reaching nice and tall again. And we're going to do our full body squats. So feet hip width apart. Come down those side walls. Booty goes back. Collapse it. And up. Exaggerate your movements here. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Let's do one more. And coming all the way back down to your side. All right, three air squats backwards. One, two, Three and forwards. One, two, and three. And let's do the others. Whoop, other side. One, two, and three and forwards. One, two, and three. And all the way up on our tippy toes. Right, get all the way up there, get your balance, and then down on one heel, up on two, down, up, squeezing those calves. And down, and let's roll our ankles. And roll them, roll them, roll them the other way. Other foot. And shake the room, shake it up, pat it up. You can feel my glutes from yesterday. All righty. Okay, so three exercises, 30 seconds each. We're going to do skipping, and then we're going to do squat, roundhouse, jab, 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 and then other side, and then down on the mat for rock and roll hold. All right, so I'm going to start off with our skipping. All right, so you can step it out, double it up, whichever you like. Ah, I've got lots of white fluffy stuff. And 
I'm sure you guys saw the lightning and heard the thunder in the snowstorm yesterday. That was so cool. I thought that only happened to me once before. And there was about 20 in London. And I remember. All right, squat, roundhouse, jab, jab, jab. So booty goes back, roundhouse, jab, 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 and then other side. Squat, roundhouse. Standing nice and tall. Block, keeping your hands up towards your face to protect your face. All right, and down for rock and roll hold. So we'll just rock, get into a V sit or a boat hold and hold it, and then rock and roll again. Nice big deep breath out as you up. Yeah, a couple of those lightning bolts were crazy how light they were in the snowstorm. Yeah. All right, back up for skipping. Woo! Skippity doo da. Skippity day. My oh my, what a snowy day. Backwards. I'm heading to Trombone today. We're gonna wait till after the snow stops. Two and one, roundhouse. So feet apart, booty back. Bring those arms back to your sides. Punch it, bring it back. Punch it, bring it back. Keeping your core engaged, your belly to your back. Feel that twist. Last one. And we're down to rock and roll hold. Whoop, I didn't make it up. Last one. And we're back up for skipping. Do, 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 do. Core engaged. Rip cage up off your hip bones. Do, do, and backwards. Yeah, the streets seem to be pretty plowed in my neighborhood anyways. All right, squat, roundhouse, jab, jab, jab. Have your hands up, protect your face. Keep that belly in. Last one, and down to rock and roll. Come on, buddy. Oh. Last one, and we're up for skipping. Woo! Do do skipping in the snowflakes makes me happy. 
and backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squat, roundhouse. Come on, duck him, kick him, get him when he's going down. All right, rock and roll hold. Woo! You can go faster, you can go slow on this. You can hold it up and vise it or boat, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to do. Last one though. And we're back up for skipping. Woo, come on, up, 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 up. Let's go, do, do. Keep that belly in. Rib cage up off your hip bones and backwards. Three, two, and one. We're not done. Squat, roundhouse, jab, 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 booty back, kick it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep that core engaged, guys. Last one. Come on. And we're done. Woo! Awesome. Grab your drink of water. Woo! Walk around, get a little shake. All right. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna start off with one weight and we're gonna do uh, alternate touch down. So one foot up, touch it down and bring it back up. You can use a weight or you don't have to use a weight. It's totally up to you what you wanna do, all right? So one arm up and I have, you can do this with your leg down as well, all right? But really bring your belly to your back because I don't want you to hurt your back, all right? So it's totally up to you whether you do it balanced or not. One, two, three, four, keep the belly in. And if you're balancing that knee, that foot has to go way back because you're leaning forward, right? Got to counteract your balance. I'm crooked here. Here we go. There we go. Keep that belly in. All right. And let's do the other side. So arm goes up, core is engaged. Breathing. <laughs> it's hard. Ground that big toe. Whoops. Whoops. 
One more. Wow, did it. Awesome. All right, we are going to do max push out, push ups. So you do as many push ups as you can, all right? Aim for, aim for 15. Doesn't matter how you do them, you can do them against the wall. You can do them against an ottoman or on your knees, on your hands or your, your elbows. No, I can't do them on your elbows. But I want you to push your out, push your shoulders into their sockets. Core is engaged. And then max them out. How many you can do? Push those shoulders in their sockets. When you're done, go into child's pose. Stretch it out. Nice big deep breath in and out. Walk your hands over to the right. If you're still going, you go girl. And over to the left. Back to the center. And drag those hands down the mat towards your knees and all the way up. And roll your shoulders back. All right, I'm gonna turn my mat sideways. We're going to do a side lunge with a crunch. Whoops. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Side lunge, crunch. Side lunge, crunch. Keeping your, keeping your chest open, right? Core is engaged, side, and then crunch it. Trying to get that elbow on the outside of your knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going for 10, nine, and 10. And we're going to do the other side, right? Rib cage up off your hip bones. One, two, three, four, push that booty way back, right? Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Woo! And guess what time it is? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Up, down, up, down. So go low. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Down, up, down. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Keeping your chest open. All right, and if you want, up, down, Charlie, down. Do your step out burpees on the end. Up, down, Charlie Brown, bring them in. Up, down, reach that back heel, right to the back wall, step it out. Bring those knees right into your chest, keeping your belly to your back. Down, Charlie Brown. Woo, two more. Woo. Up, down, Charlie Brown. And then we're done. Woo, good stuff. Grab a drink. We're gonna do it again. Woo. All 
All right. We're going to do our uh, one arm touchdowns. So grab your weight. Hand goes up. Okay, we're going to touch down on the left hand side. Core is engaged. One. Oh, two. Come on. Push that toe into the mat, into the ground. Three. Four. Five. I'm not doing very good on this side. Six. We're just doing eight. Seven. You really got to push that foot way back, eh? And eight. Like, push that foot way back because you're leaning forward. All right. Other side. Belly in. One. Two. Three, it's weird, my balance is better on my left side. Four, five, six, push the ground that big toe. Seven, and eight. Woo! All right, I forgot to do, we're gonna do bicep 21s now, okay? So grab your weight that you wanna use. All right. So standing nice and tall, shoulders are in their sockets and up and down for seven. One, keeping those elbows close to your side. Two, they don't move, just your forearms do. Three, Four, squeeze those index fingers. Seven, bottom half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, all the way up and down. One, two, try not to sway up back and forth. Three, four, stay at the top, top half. One, two, three, four, five. Move your neck around, six and seven. Guess what? Seven, top to bottom. One. Two, three, four, finding this tough, five, six, and seven. Woo! All right, weights go down. Give those arms a little shake -a Let's open them up. Okay, thumbs up, pulse it back, thumbs down, pulse it back, and just let those arms. All right, side lunge crunch. All right, on the right hand side. So, side crunch. One, two, three, booty goes back, four, Five, six, do an eight, seven, and eight, and then the other side. One, push that booty back to that back wall. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Woo! All right. Woo! Okay. 
We're going down onto the mat. I want you to grab your band. Hopefully you have a band in hand. And going down to the mat. Four, put the band around your shoelaces. All right, we're gonna do mountain climbers and then bike. All right, so we're gonna start off with mountain climbers. So get into your plank position. All right, I'm on my elbows. You can be on your hands. Lengthen your head to one wall, your feet to the other. All right, and we're mountain climbing. Bring that knee into your armpit. One, two, one is two legs. Three, four, belly in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna just roll it over. Hands behind your head. A blueberry spine, right? Get into your bike and I want that knee going into that opposite armpit. One, two, get that shoulder up off the mat. And where's your ballet? Four, five, Push that heel, foot to that wall. Six, seven, eight, belly to the mat, nine, and 10. Guess what? We're doing it again. Flip over, mountain climbers. Woo hoo! All right, so your elbows or your hands. Underneath your shoulders, shoulders are in their sockets. One, belly to your back. Two, three, push that heel back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, belly in, nine, and 10. Flip it over. Last 10, guys, come on. All right, get set first. You have blueberry spine, all right? You got that hole right at your uh, small of your back, all right? And one, get that shoulder up off the mat. Two, push that foot. Three, four, Five, belly in, six, seven, eight, two more. Come on, make it work. Nine and 10. Oh, feel that belly. All right, band comes off. Let's lengthen our arms and our legs. Nice big. Deep breath in as we're reaching for those opposite walls. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Bring those arms around like a snow angel. Bring your knees into your chest. And roll side to side. Be a tiny little ball. And breathe. All right. Three rock and rolls. One, two, all the way up to your feet. Three, going up to ragdoll. Nice big deep breath in and out. Fold those hands <sighs> and just relax here. Feel the nice stretch in the back of your legs. You can sway side to side. And arms are spaghetti. Soft bend in the knees. And let's roll up. All the way up, nice and slowly. And roll your shoulders back. 
Awesome job. That was a that was a, a good one. All right. So grab a drink. That was a good one. All right, and we'll switch over to uh, power yoga. Awesome. You're not going to need your band. All right, I'm just going to switch my mat back. Okay. Oh, I got to just switch this over. So hang on here. Start it here. Okay. Let's start at the end of your mat with a nice big deep breath in and bring your hands all the way up to the sky. Let's reach, 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 reach right, reach left. Reaching all the way up there, belly in, and let's bring those arms all the way down the side walls, reaching and coming all the way down to rag doll again. Move our neck around. Soft bend in the knees. Roll up again. So make sure your weight is distributed evenly over both feet. Find that lowest vertebrae and start with straightening your legs so you get that bottom vertebrae and then start rolling up. And roll your shoulders back. And let's bring our hands all the way up to the sky, coming all the way back down. Walk your hands out to downward dog. Let's push away from our hands. Get up there on the knuckle pads. Activate those shoulders. And with your feet flat on the ground, just move your hips side to side. Again, feel that stretch going all the way down from your elbow right down to your hip. Awesome. And your chest being pushed to your knees. Let's raise that right leg up high behind you. Nice big deep breath in and out. Three kicks. Bend that knee and still pushing your chest towards that back wall. Reach that knee for that back wall. Feel the stretch in your quad. Straighten that leg all the way out. And we're gonna bring it all the way through to your right thumb. We are in low lunge here. All right, bring your hands on either side of your right foot there. And we're gonna bring our right hand all the way up to the sky. Bring it back down and switch feet. Left leg comes up. Left arm goes up to the sky. Look at those fingers up there. Bring it back down. Switch feet again. Belly to your back. Up. Reach for the sky. Bring it back down. And let's drop that left leg. Shoelace to the mat. And come up to your knee. Just let gravity work. Opening up that hip there. Awesome. All right. Let's bring our hands down to the inside of your right foot. We're going to wiggle that right foot out to the edge of the mat and go up onto the edge of your foot. Put a little pressure, opening up that knee, that tiny little bit. And then you can stay here in pigeon or try to go down a little further. And let's just have three breaths here. And then come back up. Let's bring our left heel to your left cheek. And if you want to reach back for that shoelace,
Drop that leg again. Bring this right foot back in. Straighten it out. Okay, and we're going to push your booty back. You can bring your heel up, your toes up, sorry. But making sure that your hips are square. Okay, mine just was, it weren't. All right, and bring your chest down towards that right leg. So your, your hips are square, then your knee should be somewhere around your armpit. Nice hamstring stretch all the way down. Awesome. And let's bring that foot back down to the mat. Okay, you're going to low lunge here. We're going to go up to warrior one from here. All right, so adjust your back foot. Bring your hands in front of your right foot. I want you to reach for the wall in front of you. You're looking straight down at the mat. Power up. A nice back arch to warrior one. Nice big deep breath in and out. Bring your right hand down to your right foot. Look up at your left. Nice big deep breath in as you're lengthening your arms. Bring that left arm back and around, coming back up to warrior one, to cactus. Nice and slowly, bringing those elbows down to your side, start squeezing those shoulder blades. Come back up to your chest. A little finger war here. You can entwine your hands, push them down, activate those tries, reach out front, back up. Warrior one to cactus. Keeping that core engaged. Back up to warrior one. And we're going to bring those arms down those side walls. Your shoulders are in their sockets. All the way down to the ground. Either side of your right foot. You turn your right foot to your left foot. So you're in high plank. Shoulders are in their sockets. Push them in. Plank twist to the right. Plank twist to the left. To Chaturanga. Four, three, two, and one. Push your chest up. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And let's push back into child's pose from here. Sitting down on those legs. Just have a little sway side to side. Bring your toes to the mat, and we're going to push up to downward dog. Push away from our hands. Get up there on those knuckle pads. Nice big deep breath in and out. Belly being pulled up to the sky. Let's raise that left leg up high as you can. Ears are at your biceps. Three kicks. Bend that knee and look underneath your left arm. Straighten that arm out. Bring it all the way through to your left thumb. We're in low lunge here. Drop that right knee. Shoelace to the mat and bring your hands up. Hands come down to the inside of your left foot this time. We're going into a uh, lizard again. So walk that left foot out to the edge of the mat. You can Open up that knee, help it just by giving it a little pressure there. 
as you staying that leg is staying there if you want come down onto your forearms Then bring that heel up towards your, your right cheek and you can reach back. Oh, feel that nice stretch. Your left leg is still open into a uh, lizard. Just bring that heel towards your right cheek. Feel that quad stretch, your hip flexor stretch. Everything inside. Bring that right foot down. Bring that left foot back into the center. Straighten that left leg out. Push your booty back. And we're doing a nice toes up. Hips are square. And come down for a nice hammy stretch. Nice big deep breaths in and out. Awesome stuff. Let's bring that foot back down to the mat. All right. Go back up to low lunge. Adjust your right foot. Bring your hands to your left foot, to toes. Reach for the wall in front of you. And again, you're looking straight down at the mat. And then I want you to power up from your quad back to a nice back arch to warrior one. Nice, big, deep breath in. And as you're breathing out, bring that left hand down to your left foot. Lengthen those arms. And let's bring that right hand back and around to your left hand. Reach for the wall in front of you. Power back up to warrior one, to cactus. Nice and slowly bringing those hands all the way down to your elbows, down to your side, back to your, woo, back to your chest. Find those hands, push down, out to front, back up, warrior one, to cactus. And bring those arms back up, power those hands together, and then bring them down those side walls. Reach, 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 reach all the way down to either side of your left foot. Going into high plank, belly to your back, shoulders are in their sockets, plank twist to the right. Right, twist to the left. Two chaturanga. Four, three, two, and one. My shoulders just don't allow me to do that one right now. Push your chest up. It's funny, eh? Two weeks ago, I was doing that no problem. Blockage. Blockage. All right, push back into child's pose from here. Keeping those hands out there, sit down on those feet. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. Let's walk our hands over to the right. And then all the way over to the left. Back to center. And let's drag those hands down the mat as you start rolling up. Get to your knees, roll up your quads, and roll your shoulders back. Two and three. And let's just stand up onto your feet. And we're going right in to star from here. Hands come out. 
shoulders back, belly, your rib cage up off your hip bones. Come on, if they're up, your core is engaged. If your core is engaged, your rib cage is up. That's why I say them both ways. Awesome stuff. Hands come up to the sky, reach up to the sky. Just twist, turn those toes out that tiny little bit because we're going to go down into horse. So slowly we're going to come all the way down into horse. Have a couple pulses here. Let's bring our hands down to our knees. And just sway side to side. Hands come down to the mat. We're in um, star rag doll. Hold your arms and breathe. Right hand comes all the way up to the sky. Take a look at that. Bring it back down, other arm. Reach for the sky. Bring it back down. Then bow, uh, bend your right knee. We're going to a side lunge here. We're going to stay here for two nice big deep breaths in. Keeping that left outer foot flat on the floor. Slide across to that left lie leg. Feel the stretch on your inner leg here. Come back to center. Bend both knees, left elbow to left knee, right elbow to right knee. And then I want you to look up, open your chest, hands come together and slowly, okay, I want you to tilt your pelvis, start squeezing those glutes and slowly start coming up. Squeeze those glutes, turn that right leg, and we're in warrior two. Lengthen those arms. Right arm up, left leg, left arm down to your left leg. Reach with a nice big deep breath out. Bring that right arm all the way down to your right leg. Lengthen. Come back to warrior two. We're going to bring this left arm towards your right arm. Reach for the wall in front of you. You're looking down at your left right toe. Bring your arms back behind you. Entwine those hands. And we're going to bring those hands up to the sky. Let go of those fingers. We're going to bring those hands down to the mat and we're going to pop up to warrior three. So start shifting your weight to that right foot. Pop up. Hold. Big toe grounded. And start levering up to tree, bringing that left leg up, left leg on top onto your right leg, open up that leg, reach for the sky. We're going to go into dancer from here. So that left arm comes down the side, grabs the left shoelace, and then pull that left foot up to the sky. Hold as long as you can. And then when you're done, bring it back down and come back into star. All right. Turn that left foot to the end of the mat. And we're doing the same thing on the left side. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. 
reach for those walls. Hand comes up, reach down that right leg, looking up at those fingers. And bring that left arm all the way down to your left foot. Lengthen your arms. Left arm comes all the way back and around towards your left hand, reaching for that wall in front of you. Hands come back behind you, entwine those hands and bring them up to the sky and your chest can come down to you, that left leg. You can have it on top of that leg or just to the left. Bring those hands all the way up as high as you can. And breathe. Okay, let those fingers release. Bring both hands back down to the mat. Out in front and start shifting your weight to that left foot. Toe grounded. Start lifting up that back leg. When you're ready, start levering up to tree. Woohoo! Reach for the sky. Right foot onto the left leg. Two nice big deep breaths in tree. Right arm comes back. Grab that right shoelace and start lifting that back leg up. And when you're done, bring that, come all the way back down. Just give a nice little shake a room. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna go come down into tabletop from here. Right, and your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders, three tops, make a wish. And we're just gonna do nice cat and cow from here. All right, so you can do kissing cow. So I want you to push your hands into the mat towards your knees, resist bringing those hands to your knees and go up into cow. Keep that resistance. And release. Push into the mat and away from your knees. Start arching your back. Chin comes to chest. You can have a nice little wiggle while you're up there. And release. And we're going to do that one more time. Hands into mat. Resist bringing towards your knees. My feet come up off the mat. Go up into cow. And you can do kissing cow. It's not pretty looking. And release. And push into the mat and away from your hands. Start urging that back. Come on. Get that back way up to the sky. Chin comes to your chest. And release. All right. From here, we're going to go into plank to pigeon. So bring that right leg into your chest across the mat. Lie that leg down. And again, you can stay into high pigeon or come all the way down, bringing your forearms down. Or you can bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. And we're going to stay in pigeon for five breaths. So just nice and relaxing. Nice big deep breath in through the nose. 
and out. Every breath out, you're sinking a little further into this beautiful stretch. Awesome. All right. We're going to go back up into plank. Give a little shake a reel of that leg. And we're going to bring that left knee in to your armpit and across the mat. And again, pigeon on this side. When you're set, five nice big deep breaths in through the nose. Sometimes you have to try to lengthen your body or square your hips up. Awesome. All right. Let's just come all the way back up sitting onto your mat. And let's sit cross legged from here. And you're up nice and slowly. Nice big deep breath in and reach those rib cage up off your hip bones. Put a little pressure on those knees, open them up. And let's take our left arm, swing it around on top of your right knee, take a look behind, and take a nice big deep breath in and out. Relax those legs. And let's go all the way across to the other side. Come back to center and let's just walk out, bring your chest down in front. Hold over top and down on top of those ankles as far as you can. You can walk your hands out in front if you like. Just collapse those forearms down. And come all the way back up. And just turn lengthwise on your mat. Straighten those legs out. Give a nice little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And three rock and rolls to rag doll. Belly into your back. One. Two. And three. Up to your feet. Up to rag doll. I'm going to fold my arms and just hang. Nice big deep breath in and out. And if you like, that's, you can sway side to side, bringing your elbow to the outside of your shin, keeping your feet grounded. And let your arms hang, soft bend in the knees. Find that lowest vertebrae. And start rolling all the way up. And roll your shoulders back. And let's just open up our arms, nice couple of pulses backwards. And we're going to dive into the water. And then shuffle, 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 shuffle all the way back in. Roll those shoulders back. Again, open up. 
couple pulses, dive in and shuffle, 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 all the way back. And then give a big old shake of them. Dance it out. Doo, 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 doo. Hot fives. Good job. That was wonderful.